What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Hello Neighbor Alpha Number Three. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. Even a sign is welcoming to Alpha Number Three. How about that? Anyway, here today we'll be checking out a video, a condensed video of my recording earlier today. This is going to be like post commentary, obviously. I will try to get a video up soon where it's like me playing the game from beginning to end, talking about some of the secrets ran into, but this will be a condensed video showing you how to actually beat this build. Because this right here is the toughest build to date. Not only is the house really huge, but there's a little bit of 3D platforming involved, which makes this a little bit more difficult than you're used to. The clues aren't really too bad. But um, anyway, let's get into the video here, and um, I will just do some post-commentary here. Uh, at the moment, I'm running straight to the back of the neighbor's house, and you, what you want to do here is just run into the stack of boxes, or just move them out the way, whichever one you prefer, and you will find yourself back here, the magnet, which is a really crucial part of the um, overall solve. I'm pretty sure you cannot solve the game, or you can't beat this build without the magnet. Unless you, like, you know, glitch or something like that, but speaking of glitches, we'll talk about glitches in this build right here pretty soon, because, um, right now everything looks normal to you, but to give you a bit of a heads up, if you peek through the keyholes and the neighbor catches you, your game gets stuck in this weird crouch field of vision. Now, I'm coming up here because, as you can see, this is going to be our main goal. There's a door with a blue lock, so you have to find the blue key for it. Now, there's multiple ways, well, actually, there's only one way to get the key, but there's multiple ways to get through this little gated area. As you can see there, I jumped on a table, I jumped on a lamp, and then I jumped through here. Now, if you're wondering, Falcon is pretty cheap, you're right. Now, the other way to do this, I will talk about here pretty soon as well. Here, you see that? If you hit that, the gate actually opens up from the front side. And that's the other way to do it, legitimately, anyway. Now, if you're wondering about the magnet, how do you figure that one out? Right over here. As you can see, 8 to the left, 24 down, fence area, whatever, crevice, magnet. As you can see right there, you start in the red dot, which would be you. In between the house of the neighbor and yourself, you move 8 left, 24 down, you got your magnet. Very ideal, right? Now this here is the difficult part of this build completely. You gotta jump from where you're at right now to where I showed you that picture of the golden apple. Behind that picture is the blue key that you're looking for to get in through here. If you're wondering how you figure that out, gold apple, blue key. Uh, around this is the time where my game glitched out. I got caught eventually because right now I'm going to try to make this jump and I'm going to fail it because this right here is a bullshit jump. This is just complete grade A bullshit, by the way. Yeah, because you get pushed to the right, you hit the top of the, the doorway, it's annoying. And this is the glitch that I talked about. If you get caught, from the neighbor, if you're looking through a keyhole, the game basically reads you from that point onwards as being crouched. So even though I could run, do whatever I need to do, it's still basically reading my my input as if I'm crouched. There's a reason why the FOV is so close up to my face, and I'm very low to the ground now. But this here is after you acquire the blue key, you open up this door, and really the only important thing in here is dropping down this hole, which we'll explore here pretty soon. However, if you're curious about getting up there and looking for yourself, um, you want to hit the switch and then run backwards. Now, you want to run with the back, or your back, to the elevator itself. If you hit the switch, turn around and run, you won't be able to make it. But if you run backwards, you will do it easily. And as you can see over here, locked for one. You can see that there's like a slot machine in here and also apparently a grocery cart. But that's really all that's in here. Now, once you drop from that hole that we noticed, you will find that down here there's another lock gate for one, a couple of um, chairs you could open up, or at least chairs you could remove from doors to open up, but you saw momentarily we saw the gun, right? And right here is our gun. Now, the problem is since the game is reading my, my input as being like crouch, it looks really weird, but I do have the gun now. Now, the key card is literally in the cabinet right in the um, room that you fall into from above, so there's our key card, good to go. So the final thing we'll need at this point is going to be the crowbar to actually pry open the, the planks at the basement door. Now again, you'll forgive me for that weird field of vision, but you know, that whole glitch that we had happened was kind of a pain in the ass for me. But um, you want to come up to the third level. This is literally the ladder that you see in the front of the house, and you access this by going through the window where you picked up the gun and picked up the key card. So once you're up here, you take the ladder up. I would suggest you bring something like a table, a garbage can, a box, so you can make that jump, because that jump is really hard to do without an item to kind of, like, guide you upwards. And here is our crowbar. And the final steps, bring down the plank, use the key card, and open up the basement. Bada bing, bada boom, we're inside. What's the new ending?
Apparently, it's the neighbor crying. I'm not sure if that's him crying or not. It sounds like really feminine. But it could be him. Maybe there's somebody crying in another room. But there's definitely a bit of mourning going on. We always see the pictures of the family, the kid, the, the wife, and the, and the father. Could it be the neighbor? They lost a kid? Maybe that's why he's nuts? I don't know. Could be. And there you guys have it, HelloNeighborGame.com yet again. Um, I really enjoyed this build a lot more than the last one. The only thing I didn't like about this one was the that jump. That jump is absolutely killer. Very good luck to you guys making that jump, by the way. It is just a pain in the ass, but once you eventually get that jump done, it's basically a cakewalk. Um, I would try to get a whole video up pretty soon from beginning to end and maybe even talk about some other stuff I ran into, but for now, this will be all I could do because I'm a bit short on time because of the holidays. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, stick around. I will catch you next time.